have a little project I'm working on that requires a rolled hem, but I wanted it to be a little bit more fuller, and I thought, why not have some fun with two variegated threads? I've got a variegated pink and a variegated teal, and I'm gonna put them both through the upper looper. Yes, I said both, and that will kind of give that edge a little bit thicker, because I couldn't really find anything of those colors that would match my fabric, so I went ahead and said, well, I'll just make my own. So, like a rolled hem, we're just gonna clip the upper looper thread and tie these on. Now, since there's two, we can put one actually on the spool, spool holder. There we go, I was pulling this off. And then I'll just set one on the table behind the serger here, and then we'll get those going. First thing I do, um, if you've done our rolled hem video, you can see how the machine is set up. I'm gonna pull this out and then clip these threads. I'm gonna go ahead and find my, well, I better not pull too hard because the green's already cut here, but I'm gonna go ahead and tie onto the green. So I'll bring our pink thread up and my teal thread from the table over the edge, pull them together, and then find that green thread. Then everything will just pull through as I knot it, just a nice little overhand knot. To make sure everything goes through, you can also take your tension down to zero, and that sometimes helps things go through a little bit smoother here. Make sure that gets pulled. There we go. And just slide one of my one of my needle threads is out underneath here, hiding. So I'm going to make sure that pulls through. There we go. Now we got two threads going through. I can see them going. Now with the tension, since normal is four, but now we have two threads that are a little thicker. Let's just back that off. Give them a little bit more room to run through the tensions. Now this is a rolled hem. So what we are going to do is go ahead and take out that stitch finger and. I'm gonna tighten up that lower looper. I might have to tighten that up even more, but what I could also do is loosen the upper looper and make sure that those threads are gonna pull around the edge to my liking. Now, before I shorten the stitch length, what I'm gonna do is just make sure that I like the look here, because I won't have to shorten it as much, because now I have two threads going through. All right, we'll see how that looks. Ooh, I like the way that filled in. I shortened the stitch length a little bit so I can bring it closer together. I think that's really gonna add a fun edge to my little project here. This is gonna be a long ruffle, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and just, I really don't wanna cut anything off, but I'll just kind of start to stitch. Another thing that we'll have here, by the way, is this can make a fun cord. So you could put together two or even three different colors and just stitch without any fabric, just pulling to the back, and that will give you a decorative cord that you could use. Um, you can make tassels, you can use it to match something, and instead of trying to find the perfect little cord, you can just do that. So I'm gonna just zip down this edge here. Oh, I really like it now that it's on white. It really blends in to the project of, with these fun, fun dots.